Hello everyone, my name is Carlisle Strickland. I am a traveling critical care nurse. In about three years, I'll be a certified registered nurse anesthetist. I am from Warner Robins, Georgia. I spent the last six or so years in Savannah, Georgia, finishing my bachelor's degree and gaining my initial nursing experience. In the peak of the COVID experience back in April, I chose to go up there for eight humbling weeks to New York City and help out. Um, from there, I went to Stanford Healthcare System in Palo Alto, California, and now Albuquerque, New Mexico. You could say I am COVID chasing. Uh, that being said, my nursing experience is kind of broad. I started in the emergency department, did neuromedical ICU, neurotrauma ICU. I worked as the medical emergency team nurse, and now I'm COVID ICU and cardiovascular ICU. Along with that nursing experience, I have concurrently been accepted to the University of Pittsburgh's Doctor of Nursing Practice, specializing in anesthesia program. It's a three-year program. I'll start formally full-time in January 2021, but I am currently taking an online class now, uh, just to lighten the load. Um, that being said, the day-to-day -day life for a nurse can vary drastically, depending on what position you're in, but uh, regardless of extraneous circumstances, most of the time, a nurse is going to take care of a patient, of a person, of a human. They're going to take care of one or multiple. Um, and that interaction between the nurse and the patient is incredibly important um, in the fact that you control every facet of their experience, their, their interaction, that intersection between them and the healthcare system. You influence their physiology, their psychology, their uh, emotional well-being. Um, all, all of those things are, are important to that patient's experience and, and their overall well-being. Um, so the goals from day to day can definitely vary depending on the pathophysiology of the patient, but every day is an opportunity to make a patient's day a little better and a unique experience. Um, all that to say, I did not really choose nursing nor healthcare. Uh, I'd like to say it chose me. Um, I am a first generation college student and I went to a two year community college right out of high school and I didn't have much academic or financial support. Um, my parents offered me a ton of love, but that did not cover my tuition uh, at all. Um, what I found though is that I was strong in science uh, and I had always really enjoyed helping people. So nursing was a natural fit for me. Um, and that's kind of what nursing became. It, 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 the pith of nursing for me is helping people. It's empathizing with the patient, it's bonding with them, and mostly advocating for the patient. Now, on that same note, advocating, uh, when I was in New York City, I became increasingly aware of a systemic health issue um, and the disproportionate effects of health disparities among minorities, among racial groups, ethnic groups. Um, that is, a, it's a problem. Uh, I, I don't know or I haven't seen that it, it's been addressed in recent legislature, legislature. Um, but overarchingly my plan is to finish my degree. Um, I'm working with a recruiter now to work on commissioning into the military to develop my leadership skills um, and learn how to orchestrate a, a plan and, and execute. Um, once I get out of the military, I would like to utilize those skills that I learned and bring awareness to this issue um, of, of the disproportionate health disparities for minorities. Uh, I want to bring awareness and hopefully systemic change and create a more equitable health system, uh, hopefully nationally or internationally would be even better, um, but we have to start somewhere. That being said, um, it would be a little easier to make it happen without the a large amount of undergraduate debt I'm dragging and the impending graduate school debt I, I will accrue. Um, that being said, Figs, I hope you I hope you hear me. I hope you're able to help me help everyone. Um, some quick facts about myself. I am currently training for a marathon, the Pittsburgh Three Rivers Marathon. So I hope to see any one of you out there. Uh, my pump up song is M83 Midnight City and a quote it's very personal for me, it's a cliche, but my mother always said with connotations to goals. Um, when you shoot, aim for the moon, even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. Thank you guys.